Welcome to Medicine Made Easy. Here we keep things simple and easy for you. Today we are going to cover the omentum, epiploic foramen, as well as something called the Pringle maneuver. If you have not yet watched our previous videos on the peritoneum and peritoneal cavity, please make sure to watch them first before watching this one. It would help you better learn the concepts we're covering today. So let's start with the omentum. Simply put, the omentum is a double-layered visceral peritoneum which attaches abdominal organs with one another. There are two omenta in the body, namely the lesser omentum and the greater omentum. Both of them attach to the stomach. If you think about this, you will find that the omentum and mesentery are structurally similar in that both of them are made up of double-layered visceral peritoneum. Moreover, the omentum stores fat, and within the layers there are blood vessels, etc., who supply the abdominal organs. I will further explain this later in this video. Here is a sagittal view of the abdomen, and you can see the lesser omentum here, and the greater omentum here. Given the name lesser omentum, this omentum is smaller in size. The lesser omentum connects the liver with lesser curvature of stomach and first part of the duodenum. It can be divided into two parts. The hepatogastric ligament, which is the portion connecting the liver to lesser curvature of the stomach, and the hepatoduodenal ligament, which is the portion connecting the liver to the duodenum. While for the greater omentum, it is the larger omentum and it connects the greater curvature of the stomach and first part of the duodenum with the transverse colon. Let's talk more about the greater omentum. As you can see, the greater omentum descends inferiorly over the transverse colon as well as the small intestines. It then folds up posteriorly and ascends to the transverse colon. Some say it's similar to an apron, while I personally think it's more similar to folding a piece of paper in half. Between the layers of the greater omentum, gastro-omental vessels can be found. For the arterial supply, the greater omentum is supplied by two arteries. The right gastroomental artery, also called the right gastroepiploic artery, which is a branch of the gastroduodenal artery, and the left gastroomental artery, which is a branch of the splenic artery. The veins follow the direction of the arteries in the greater omentum and drain into the portal system. So similarly, there are the right gastroomental vein and the left gastroomental vein. The right gastro-omental vein drains to the superior mesenteric vein, while the left gastro-omental vein drains into the splenic vein. The splenic and superior mesenteric veins join to form the hepatic portal vein. A special characteristic of the greater omentum is that it is very mobile. This is particularly important in cases when there are inflammation of certain organs. The greater omentum can adhere to the inflamed or diseased organ, hence covering it. And by doing this, other organs can be protected from the pathologic organ. This is why some people call the greater omentum the police of the abdomen. Now, let's go to the lesser omentum. As mentioned, the lesser omentum can be divided into the hepatogastric ligament and the hepatoduodenal ligament. We'll first talk about the hepatogastric ligament. For the hepatogastric ligament, a number of blood vessels can be found between the layers. These include the right and left gastric arteries as well as the gastric veins. The right gastric artery is a branch of the proper hepatic artery, which is from the celiac trunk, while the left gastric artery originates from the celiac trunk. 
The right and left gastric veins follow the same direction as the arteries through the lesser omentum and drain into the hepatic portal vein. Between the layers of the hepatogastric ligament, we can also find some visceral branches of the vagus nerve and the hepatic and gastric lymph nodes. For the hepatoduodenal ligament, there is a right free margin which I will elaborate in a bit. Close to the right free margin, the portal triad can be found between the layers of the lesser omentum. The contents of the portal triad are the proper hepatic artery, the portal vein, and the common bile duct. Lymphatics and hepatic plexus of nerves can also be found. These structures are enclosed in a fibrous capsule called a glissens capsule. This site is important when we talk about the Pringle maneuver later in this video. For the right free margin we mentioned, it is the right border of the lesser omentum where it forms a free margin constituting the anterior boundary of something called the omental foramen. The omental foramen is also called the epiploic foramen or foramen of Winslow. These names are all referring to the same thing. The epiploic foramen is an opening situated posterior to the free edge of the lesser omentum. As we go through the epiploic foramen, we can go behind the lesser omentum. Behind the lesser omentum is where the lesser sac is, pointed out here. Hence, through this epiploic foramen, the lesser sac is in fact connected with the greater sac. In terms of the borders of the epiploic foramen, the anterior border of the epiploic foramen is the hepatoduodenal ligament containing the portal triad. The posterior border is the inferior vena cava and right cross of diaphragm covered by the parietal peritoneum. Superiorly, we can find the liver and inferiorly, we can find the first part of the duodenum. Lastly, let's talk about the Pringle maneuver. What? Pringles? Uh, no, we're not talking about this. We're referring to this. The Pringle maneuver is in fact a surgical technique that can be used in liver surgery. Its purpose is to minimize intraoperative blood loss. This is achieved by the surgeon inserting his or her index finger through the epiploic foramen and then use the thumb to pinch on the hepatoduodenal ligament. An alternative is to use a vascular clamp. By clamping the hepatoduodenal ligament, the surgeon can temporarily stop hepatic inflow by the proper hepatic artery and hepatic portal vein. By limiting the blood flow through the proper hepatic artery and portal vein, Blood from the liver can be controlled. This lesson, we learned that there are two omenta, the greater omentum and lesser omentum. Gastro-omental vessels can be found within the greater omentum. The greater omentum can protect other organs from inflamed or diseased organs. The lesser omentum can be divided into hepatogastric ligament and hepatoduodenal ligament. Gastric arteries and gastric veins can be found within the hepatogastric ligament. Portal triad can be found within the hepatoduodenal ligament. Epiploic foramen connects the lesser sac and greater sac. And the Pringle maneuver is a surgical technique in liver surgery to minimize intraoperative blood loss. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to support us so that we can make more of these videos. Thank you so much and see you next time.